terminating a Comscope MGS 600 jack. Initially this could take up to 5 minutes per jack to terminate with 100% accuracy with the aim of getting this down to 1 to 2 minutes per termination while still achieving 100% accuracy. The tools we're going to be needing are flush cutters, a cable stripper, either one of those, and a 110 tool if you prefer. You find you get a dust cap. Now the first thing you want to do when you get this cable is you want to strip just a little bit of it and then you're going to come down to your segregation so you want to fold those wires back and trim that off nice and close. Now the next thing you're going to know, notice with this cable is that each pair has its own segregation so the first thing we want to do is just unwrap that segregation from each of the pairs and get it all the way down. Once you get it down the bottom there, you can just break him off. Just go through the paces and do all of those first. Okay, once all that's out the way, you want to make sure you put them back in the same formation that they sit inside that jacket anyway. So get them all back in that same formation. If you look at your jack, it's always going to have the blue and the brown on the one side and then you're going to have the orange and the green on the other and that's just going to come down to whether you're terminating at 568A or 568B. In this case we're going to terminate at 568B so we can see that looking at this the orange is going to be at the front of the jack and the green behind it. So we just want to put those in in their same formation and you can see when we do that that pull those out the way, that some sit down the bottom and the other two lay on top. Now, in this instance, the way the cable runs off the box, and because we're doing A, you'll find that they all sit pretty much right in line to where they're going. So we'll do this one first and have a look at it. So you want to keep that cable jacket up nice and close at the back of the jack. Keep your thumbnail just behind it so you're not untwisting any more than what you have to, to slot them on. Same with the, the down one. Lock him over there and do the same with these ones. Once again, keeping your nail nice and close behind the back so you're not untwisting any more than you have to. Get him on now. Once he's at that point, you have a couple of options. You can use your tool that you strip with and just seat them down into the jack. You'll hear that distinctive little click when it goes in and you know that it's seated down nicely. Now you can do it that way and then when you've done that you get your side cutters or your flush cutters and just trim them off. The other way is you can use a 110 tool. I still prefer to seat these in first to make sure that you've got a nice connection and then the only difference is that you'll use this keeping your blade to the outside. You'll just put them in and you can cut them off like that. Once you've done that, just inspect it to make sure that they're all in the right order and that the jacket's up nice and close at the back and then the cap can just sit straight over there at the end of it and that's it.